cannonball! That was great! So, who's the winner? Dinner? I don't need dinner! Dang, nabbit! It's morning, you crazy city folk! I told you no good would come from city folk! Sheesh! Who is the winner? Winner? Well, why didn't you just ask? The young gal, Sandy Cheeks. Sandy? Nice job, Cannonball. <laughs> Well, that's it. All the rolls have been cast. Now to the tally up the popularity points and decide who wins the super villain roll. Gil Hammerstein speaking. Ah, sir, it is lovely to. Yes, sir, we finished casting all the rolls for the special Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy episode. The contestants were. Yes, sir. I, I'm just figuring out who wins the... Yes, sir. Yes, sir. The winner is... Sandy! Sandy Cheeks has won the... Super Villain! Roll. Yes, sir. We filled all the rolls. We can finally see the episode. Okay, sir. I will put it through to you now. Hope you like it. The new adventures of Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy. Mermaid Man, forceful, fearless, regular, aided by his trusted ward, Barnacle Boy. Most important meal of the day. Oh, put me down, you old coot. Protecting our seas and homes from a rogue's gallery of villains, including their number one arch nemesis, the Dirty Bubble. A booga, booga, booga. <laughs> Nemesis Man Ray. Oh, come on! What does it take to get to number one in this town? Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy! Well, they're better than nothing. By the power of Neptune, unite! The Sand Stadium, cultural hub of our undersea art community, home of quality music from Bikini Bottom's finest performers, and also these guys. It's good to know if there's any trouble, the audience is safe tonight, for amongst them are Bikini Bottom's finest crime fighters, and also these guys. Barnacle Boy. Barnacle Boy. Oh, what is it now? I'm trying to watch. Who's winning? What do you... Oh, look. I told you, it's a musical performance, not a football game. Ah, you're only saying that because your team's losing. Oh, no, I... Oh, jeez. Who scored? Howdy, y'all. Welcome to my hoot nanny. You're in for a treat tonight, because me and the fellers are in fine form. I present to you... The Texas Blubber Boys! That quarterback is showing real promise this season. Did you find the hot dogs chewy this evening, Barnacle Boy? That wasn't a hot dog. It was the arm of the chair, you old coot. I thought it was a bit stale and hard to lift. Phew. I probably shouldn't have eaten all that cheesecake either. <laughs> What have you done this time, Mermaid Man? Oh, look! It's Mermaid Man! He's gone mad and destroyed the Sand Stadium! Someone call the police! Mermaid Man must have gone evil! Evil! Ah, oh, jeez. Come on, Mermaid Man, we better get to the bottom of this disappearance before we're arrested. 
I hope the merchandise stand hasn't sold out of those big foam hands. I, I love those things. Sorry, Barnacle Boy. I must be in the passenger seat. Remind me again why we made the invisible boatmobile invisible. So give me a home where the barnacles grow and... Officers, be on the lookout for Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy in their invisible boatmobile. They are believed to be old and dangerous. Copy that, Chief Rooney. Officer, have you seen Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy? 10-4, we got a 10-12 on that 10-17. I got their 10-20 over. That sounded like the invisible boatmobile. Was that them? Didn't I just say that? Apprehend them at once. I'm on it. Yee-haw! Hey, I didn't know we had a radio. Sing along, Barnacle Boy. I love this song. That's not a song, you twit. It's a police siren, Barnacles. We need time to solve the disappearing building mystery, and we can't do that if we're arrested. I'm sorry, I was thinking about cabbage. You were saying? Floor it! <laughs> Barnacle boy, I know a shortcut that is confused. Hold on! Update on the chase, officer. Target's inside, sir. Uh, Mermaid Man? Not now, son. I'm trying to concentrate on all those devious twists and turns. Uh, Mermaid Man? They'll never catch us now. They couldn't keep up with the boatmobile. I'll bring him in, Chief. 10-4. arrested those hero varmints instead of yours truly. They won't be looking for me now. I'm in the clear like a window in a swimming pool. <laughs> News flash! It is believed that the masterminds behind the disappearance of Sand Stadium are none other than Bikini Bottom heroes Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy. When questioned, the older hero had this to say. Is that a microphone? Is it time for pudding? Do these pants feel damp to you? The ex-heroes are now doing time in Bikini Bottom Jail. We will keep you updated with further updates. Now let's go over it again. Are you sure you didn't hit the building obliteration button when you were fooling around with your utility belt? I'm sure of it, Barnacle Boy. I was full of cheesecake. I reached down to loosen my belt, and I pressed this button by accident. Oh, jeez. I, 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 I sure wish you'd stop fiddling with that thing. You make me nervous. Nothing to be afraid of, Barnacle Boy. It's just my chin cam. Looky. Such a handsome chin. And here's the picture I took at the Sand Stadium, right before it vanished. Well, that proves it wasn't you that caused the mess. This time, at least. I'll tell y'all about mess. I remember an inmate called Missy Misserson. Or was it Stanley? Missy is a dump truck in a twister. Sue, wait! Uh, yeah, thanks. Uh, somehow I don't think this is the work of someone called Stanley. No, it doesn't sound like Stanley's style at all. Stanley Messy Messerson likes to make a mess. The sand stadium vanished too cleanly. Van Ray! Oh, our second most arch nemesis. That's right, Super Zeros. It's me! So, what are you in for? I got caught jaywalking. Could you believe it? <laughs> <laughs> you think that's bad? 
I got caught for having bad breath in a public place. <laughs> a dirty bubble! Our number one arch nemesis. Oh, can it, fellers! Spoil sport. Now let's talk about the disappearance of the Sand Stadium. I think a huge monster truck dragged it away. Monster? It's a good theory. Or maybe it was the Sneaky Hermit. The Sneaky Hermit? Of course! This crime shows all the signs that have been present throughout the Hermit's criminal career. What signs? What does the Sneaky Hermit do? I think it would be fair to say that the Sneaky Hermit steals building. A fine observation, my villainous companion. Now, if everyone will excuse us, this sudden freedom has renewed my eagerness for villainy. Come, Dirty Bubble. Ooh, let's start with jaywalking. They couldn't possibly catch us twice. We should probably catch those two, you know. All in good time, Barnacle Boy. All in good time. First, I think we've got a hermit to catch. We'll start with the beach, cause hermits love the beach. To the invisible boatmobile, away! Dang that monster truck. Newsflash! Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy have been cleared of suspicion in the disappearance of the Sand Stadium. Authorities are now on the lookout for a crab called the Sneaky Hermit, who is still at large and may have accomplices. On the lookout for a crab called the Sneaky Hermit, who is still at large and may have accomplices. Hi, diggity boss, you're on the tube. Sure, I can watch TV and work at the same time. Here's what I see. Critter. Critter. Couple of super people. Critter with a cone. Could have sworn I saw some oldies. Greetings, sea creature. Give me biscuits. What can I get you, gentlemen? Gelp Sunday? Sea cucumber split? Information on any of the major supervillains? Super what now? No, I'd like two scoops of high fiber ice cream with Brussels sprout sprinkles. Mm. Oh, thought you might have been looking for a supervillain. Someone hermit like, a bit sneaky. There's a sale on underpants. I mean, a sneaky hermit. That's the one. Was here not long back. Said something about being hungry. Something about the crusty crab. Jumpin' jellyfish mermaid man. The sneaky hermit must be at the crusty crab. We should go immediately. Well, I don't need new undies, but I'm happy to go to the crusty crab. Away! Well, I got rid of them for you. Thanks, old timer. I'll give you a big Texas hug later. Great, thanks. No, really. Howdy! Yep, don't know how those guys passed my eagle eye. Won't happen again. Oh, oh nuts. What can I do for you, Mr. Man Ray and Mr. Dirty Bubble Sirs? Oh, I knew these disguises wouldn't work. What a waste of two bucks. Uh, we're looking for the sneaky hermit's secret hideout. The secret one? That's just over the hill there. Well, that was easy. Sure. Follow the signs. You can't miss it. I sure have took me a lot of possessions, being a villain and all. And soon! That chair is so spooky. Meow. Soon! I'll have this whole town as my own personal spread! Oh, my darling. You done left and took our house and turned me into a evil super villain! This time! Meow. Who in tarnation could that be? Ah, the famous sneaky hermit. We meet at last. 
We just broke out of the joint. And we brought cookies. Cookies? Get on in here. What's on your mind, boys? We've noticed you've been doing some delightfully evil work of late. And we're thinking of a team-up. A team-up of evil! <laughs> we'll help each other out. Hatch evil plans, make prank phone calls. It'll be fun. What do you say? Let the piece of look. This will fit right into my own selfish and evil plans. <laughs> Sounds good. <laughs> Take this wriggling critter to distract Mermaid Man. Then we can go do evil together. Hurrah! I think this is going to work out just fine. Come, Dirty Bubble. Let's begin our alliance of sneakiness. Let's go to the chum bucket. I have an idea. See you soon, sneaky hermit. Yes, farewell, hermit. I think this is the beginning of a diabolical friendship. You betcha. Thanks for them layer cookies. <laughs> now everyone will be out of my way. Hot dog. Well, I'm off to visit a couple of unguarded supervillain layers. Try to get a decent workout in before bed, little sidekick. Ah, the Krusty Krab, home of the world-famous Krabby Patty. And today, it is... Hey, buddy! I'm narrating this scene! Pardon? Ooh, sorry. My mistake. Please, carry on. Thank you. <clears throat> the Krusty Krab. Here we find Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy sent to find the Sneaky Hermit. But the Hermit is not here. Only tasty and nutritious meals at affordable prices. Ooh, Monsieur, that was very good. Why, thank you. I have had some training and... Hey, is this thing still on? Ooh, the Barnacles. <laughs> oh, Come on, Mermaid Man. That shady character at the beach obviously sent us on a wild goose chase. Don't be silly, son. There are no wild geese here. We're at the bottom of the ocean. Waiter. Oh, jeez. Ah, yeah. huh. A little more pepper, please. I sure do love it. You got it. A little more. More. A little more, thanks. Just a bit more. Oh, uh, maybe sir would like to keep the pepper. Thanks. I sure love that pepper. Hey, oh, we're wasting time. We should be out finding the sneaky hermit. Did you say sneaky hermit? Yes, I did. Oh, I sat next to the hermit at school. Well, that's a coincidence. Yep. Do you have any idea where this hermit is now? Nope. Well, have you seen anything suspicious? Yep. I saw Man Ray drag a wriggling sack into the chum bucket. I call that suspicious. Cause no one goes into the chum bucket. When did you see this? Out the window just now. Merciful muscles, mermaid man. We've got work to do. To the chum bucket! Thank you for dining at the Krusty Krab! Oh, yes, thanks. Uh, now where was I? Oh yeah, to the chum bucket away! That kid is so annoying. Yes, my hollow spherical accomplice. But it'll prove an adequate distraction for our bumbling superheroes. The sneaky hermit will be pleased. Let's invite our new chum to my lair. We can concoct our evil plans over herbal tea. Oh, oh, oh. By the power of Darjeeling, what a capital idea! Wait, what's that? 
It sounds like the invisible buffoon mobile. Our heroes have arrived. I'll have a burger and fries. I mean, unhand that captive, you vile fiends. Hot dang. Nice to see you, fellers. This smells worse than trash day on a hog farm. You're too late, moron man. The mayor's child is trapped inside a vortex of stinkiness. Ho <laughs> ho! The treadmill creates static, keeping the vile stench from the chum bucket food at bay. But stop running and wham! It's nothing but slimy skin and skunk jokes for a really long time. <laughs> That's diabolical, dirty bubble, and really kinda icky. Try to save the mayor's kid, if you will. It should keep you occupied for quite some time. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Mermaid Man? Oh, sorry. It, it got caught up in the moment. So long, old-timers! Dag, never this is only gonna stall us from finding the sneaky hermit. But we really gotta free the mayor's kid. Oh, yeah, the kid. You're gonna be just fine. Oh, sweet, merciful Neptune! What is that smell? It's the vortex of stickiness, Mermaid Man. We've got to shut off this machine and free the captive. Did we shut it off? Nope. How about now? Nope. Now? Mm, nope. Uh, uh, can we hurry this along, fellers? Is it on? Nope. Still? Nope. We are so mad! We've got double cross! While we were here, setting up traps to help the sneaky hermit, the hermit was busy stealing our lairs! Wow, that really is sneaky. Sounds like this hermit is sneakier than all of us. Um, what would you fellas say to combining forces and going after this villain together? That's pretty much why we're here. Well, that was easy. I know a hunter in jellyfish fields who could track anything. I bet we'll be able to pick up the sneaky hermit's trail with a little help. Well, there's nothing much left to say except supermans from both sides of the fence of good and evil. Uh, care to help a girl squirrel? Oh, sorry. Let me get that for you. So, where is this hunter, Pumpernickel boy? Hey, no name calling during the truce, remember? Maybe the hunter is hunting the jellyfish king. Or maybe we're wasting our time. What if this hunter knows nothing or doesn't even exist? I'm guessing you all are tracking the sneaky hermit. Curse that name! Uh, shush it! If you're quiet, I'll help you. Curse that name! That's better. Follow me. Hermit crabs carry a lot on their backs, so they're always in danger of tipping over. I see. I see. When I wear my glasses, which I've lost again. <laughs> Quit standing on my foot, Man Ray. For goodness sake! You don't have a foot, you infernal bubble! <laughs> the hermit's a gatherer. There's a really big building in the hermit's sides. The hermit wears tights? The permit test bites? Old Herbert was right. The jelly pudding was likely toasted and pajamas? <laughs> I think the hermit drinks warm milk when feeling down. What the? That's not helpful. Well, it could be. Yes, you never know. Comfort is important, young ward. Oh, pardon me. Well, I am full of air, you know. Oh, for Pete's sake! If you promise to leave me alone, I'll track the hermit for you myself. Oh, well, that's decent of you. <laughs> you can come with us in our invisible boatmobile. Away! Flash, Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy have enlisted the help of the finest hunter in jellyfish fields. 
It is believed that the sneaky hermit is somewhere in downtown Bikini Bottom, not far from this very stool deal. Um, we'll be right back. Downtown Bikini Bottom, a fitting setting for our final battle. A dramatic location for the powers of good and evil to clash climactically. And a really good place for pizza. That hunter sure left in a hurry. I didn't even get a chance to say bye-bye. Well, you were annoying, Dirty Bubble. I was annoying. All that disgusting belching. Knock it off. It doesn't matter. We know all we need to know about the Sneaky Hermit. Indeed. We'll soon put an end to the Stinky Hermit. <laughs> <laughs> the Hermit's really in for a surprise. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey, Barnacle Boy. Where did you park the invisible boatmobile? Oh, I didn't park it, Mermaid Man. You did. <laughs> it's just over... Oh, my gosh. Uh, the invisible boatmobile. It's been stolen. That's because I done took it. The sneaky hermit. You sure got that right. You've been busy, hermit. You've stolen almost the whole town. And put it all on your back, too. It's reasonably impressive. You stole our invisible boatmobile, Sneaky Hermit. You stole our evil lairs. E evil bears? But why, Hermit? Why did you do it? You can't deny a lady a home. A home? You've got all of Bikini Bottom on your back. What's your plan? To put the whole town on your back, then the next town, then eventually the whole world? Uh... Yep. All on your back? Where will you stand? Wow. I'm an evil genius who wants to take over the world, but even I'm not that crazy. Enough talk. Can we fight already? Hurrah! Prepare to make a fool of yourself, sneaky hermit. I'll fool you. I hope you brought a stunt double, hermit, because this is gonna hurt. Sea creatures of the deep unite! By all things dirty, I make you dirty! The Sneaky Hermit's about to steal the Sea Needle! Oh, nuts! That's the last building in Bikini Bottom! Oh, Barnacles. Oh, why is this building being stubborn? I know, I know! It's locked! Looky! You could just take that lock off and then take the building. You could even use those window washer platforms to get up there. Much obliged! Oh! Why do you good guys have to be so helpful? We should, um, probably try to stop that from happening. <laughs> Excellent idea, Barnacle Boy. All those in favor? Aye. Aye! All against? Nay! Quiet, you! All right, there's not much left to say, but to the window washing platforms on the side of the Sea Needle Building to rescue Bikini Bottom from the clutches of the evil sneaky hermit! Away! <laughs> You'll never get away with this, you sneaky thing. Can we hurry this up? I'm getting a bit dizzy here. You got it! Hermit Nippers coming at you! Ha! <laughs> Your nippers are no match for my dirty breath of doom! <sighs> Oh, jeez. <coughs> oh, that's worse than Mermaid Man's socks. Funny, but not as funny as my sneaky brightener! <laughs> oh! Okay, now this is getting weird. The powers of good will prevail. Behold, Raging Whirlpool! Hey! 
use what watchet? You're gonna make me spill my, spill my lunch! Mermaid Man, that's it. Spilling! The hunter told us that if the hermit loses balance, then everything on its back could fall off. Mm -hmm. And the hermit is susceptible to sneezing. You know what that means? We're having prune and broccoli pudding for dessert tonight? No, you old coot. Pepper. We use some pepper and make the hermit sneeze. Good idea, Barnacle Boy. If only we had some. You got some in your pocket from before. Oh, this isn't helping at all. Hey, here's some pepper. Okay, Hermit, I've got a handful of pepper here, and I gotta warn you, it's especially tasty. The jig is up. Is that all you got? I... Oh, dang nabbit. By the power of Neptune, I give you a handful of delicious pepper. <laughs> you know, being up here doesn't feel safe anymore. You got that right, old man. Let's scoop. I think those bumbling ninnies might be on to something. Let's get out of here. Not so fast, Man Ray. I'm still feeling queasy. Ah, you! I ain't no boy in Well, we sure did teach that little critter something about not stealing buildings and storing them on your back and plotting to take over the world. We sure did. And teaming up with our enemies worked. Spinning, spinning, spinning! <laughs> feeling good now, dirty bubble? No, I think I'm almost back to feeling evil again. Oh. So, would you like to come and throw rocks with us? No, we're still good, I'm afraid. Oh. So, um, oh, the heck with it. Come, Dirty Bubble, I'm tired of all this goodness. Let's go steal chocolate chips out of the prison warden's cookies. Now you're talking. Time for some evil. Evil. <laughs> <laughs> uh... Mermaid Man? Yes, son? Are you gonna, uh, fix that anytime soon? All in good time, Barnacle Boy. So, what do you say we go see the rest of that performance at the Sand Stadium? We're going back to the football game? Hot dog! I love football! Oh, jeez. It's not foot... Uh, uh, oh, whatever. Yep. Let's go see the rest of the football game. Yippee! <laughs> ice cream, ice cream. Can I have ice cream? As much as you want, old chump. Yippee! Best day ever! And so, once again, the forces of badness have been outdone by the forces of goodness. And thank goodness there's an end to the madness. Tune in next time for another mostly interesting episode of... The New Adventures of Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy! Ah, uh, Monsieur, you really are very good at that. Thanks again, my French companion. There's a funny story about how I got into cartoons. You see, when I was just a kid, I had this deep voice.